Hi, this is Wes with GoGPS. Today we're going to show you how to do a device uh, troubleshooting on a three-piece install uh, in a Rollins specific vehicle. 90% um, of the GPS's are installed on the passenger side of the vehicle, so we're going to show you the three parts that make up that three-piece install. So the first part is the little black box. This is our GPS device. Um, it'll have a GoGPS sticker on it, some lights on the front, and a serial number on the back. This is how we identify the device, um, so that's always a good number to record. Um, the first piece that we have is what we call a T-harness. Um, so we have the female end that plugs into the uh, vehicle OBD port. This end is what we replace the OBD plug with, and then our GPS plug. Now this cable is obviously not long enough to run from underneath the driver's side to the passenger side, so we use an extension harness here, which just lengthens this cable, plugs in together, like so nice and easy. This will be zip tied in your vehicle. Uh, and then this eventually would run over on the passenger side to the vehicle. So that's the basic install of what you're looking for. So if you're under the dash and you don't know what cables you're looking for, you're looking for these three, these three pieces right here. Here's the location mounted on the passenger side of the vehicle in the installation bracket. You should see the cable coming out from underneath the center console, plugged into the GPS, and the GPS snapped into the bracket. If your GPS is not here in your vehicle, check underneath the driver's side, and we'll show you how to do that here in a second. So we've removed our GPS from the harness down here where it was previously mounted so we can perform some troubleshooting steps with it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let the vehicle run. So we've had this vehicle running for about five minutes now. And we're going to check the lights on the GPS. So it looks here like we have two lights on this GPS. We have a red light, a green light, and we're missing a blue light. Um, that may be due to being indoors, so it's best to perform these steps outside. The first step is to unplug this. We're going to unplug it, we're going to let it go dead. We're going to turn the vehicle off. We're going to wait about 30 seconds for this to go completely dead. We're going to plug it back in and then restart the vehicle. So we've waited a couple seconds. We're going to plug the GPS back in to see if we have power. We're going to plug it in. We're going to wait. We should hear some power beeps here in a second. Perfect. That means our cables are all hooked up to the vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle and let the GPS go through a boot cycle. So we've pulled the vehicle outside, we've restarted the truck, uh, and let the GPS go through a boot cycle. It took about two minutes for all our lights to come on. So as you can see, we have a red light, which is our power light, our blue light, which is the satellite, and we're missing the green light, which is the cellular, which means it's not going to be communicating. Uh, so we can now call GoGPS, let them know our findings. If you did have all three lights, you could also call us and we can confirm that the GPS is communicating properly and the install is good. Uh, if it was a communicating device, we would put it back in the side mounted bracket in the vehicle, re-zip tie it, to secure it to the vehicle. Uh, in the event that we had no power to this GPS, um, we would now start checking our connection since we have this extension harness and the T-harness. We would go back and make sure everything's plugged in together, um, and we'll show you how to do that in a second. So in the event that you don't have any lights on your GPS, no lights, no beeping, no power to the unit, we want to check all the connections between the GPS and the vehicle. Um, so the first connection is obviously to make sure we're plugged in here, we're securely plugged in, there's no wiggle in this. Uh, next we're going to follow the extension harness, and the extension harness obviously needs to be plugged in, so there's our issue. So this would occur from the passenger side of the vehicle through the center console over to the driver's side, and you'd find another cable connection, and these two need to be plugged in securely as well. And there's our power. And then we also, if that didn't work, the last connection to check is from the OBD2 port to the T-harness underneath the driver's side dash. There's another connection here. So we plug that in as well. We should have power. So the beeps denote power. If you plugged in all three connections, they're all secured, and there's still no power, then we want to check fuses. We want to check um, any, any if there's any electrical issues with the vehicle, um, and that may involve taking the vehicle to the dealership. Um, if you have any other questions about that step, feel free to call us at GoGPS and we can help point you in the right direction. 